All right, what's going on, everybody? Get the Raging Rob here. I'm probably going to put this in on another channel for unknown reasons. Let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to be silent about this anymore. I was staying silent for a while for reasons I'm not going to tell. But I'm not going to be silent about this anymore. Okay, first I'm going to tell you what's going on in Shelby Township the last few months. Then I'm going to tell you what happened on Saturday. And then I'm going to tell you my opinion. So three things. Let's go to number one. Shelby Township, Michigan. I got the pleasure of meeting some great people in Shelby Township the last few months. Good residents, uh, good residents of Macomb County, surrounding communities. If you don't know who I am, I'm Raging Rob. I travel the state. I'm an independent contractor. I do videos, ra uh, rallies and protests all over the place. I went to Kenosha, Wisconsin, did some videos there. Uh, I was uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota back in May when the George Floyd thing was starting to take off. When the riots happened, I'd do some videos. I went, I've been to several states, you know, doing videos. Ohio, uh, Indiana, and right here in Michigan, all over Michigan. Lansing and just everywhere. I got the pleasure of going to Shelby Township in the middle of June because uh, a protest had started. It was, it, was, I, it was just an average protest. I didn't think that I was going to ever return back to Shelby Township when I went to this protest. But things escalated and I just kept coming back. So now Shelby Township is a big part of what I do. Anyway, Robert Shalai, the police chief at Shelby Township, he went on Twitter. He was talking about looters. He didn't, met, he didn't specifically say any race. He just said, you know, I wouldn't put it the way he said it, but he said what he said on Twitter, talking about looters. People had a problem with it, and they started a protest, and they protest Robert Shalide. I went out there to the rally, the protest, whatever, middle of June, June 17th, or whatever day it was. I think it was June 16th. Was it June 16th? I think it was, yeah, I think it was June 17th. Yeah, because I remember, because the next day I went to a, a rally in Lansing. June 17th, I think was the day. Didn't know much about it, was, about it, so I decided to go there and see what was going on. Of course, I had my... Make America Great Again hat on, which is all right. I love my president very much. I got trolled by some libtards there. They seen the Make America Great Again hat, and they trolled me, and they got in my face and shoving signs in my face. Okay, well, I thought you were there to protest the police chief, not Donald Trump. Duh. So anyway... So week after week, they had protests after protests, and I kept coming back. Week three, uh, had some violence break out. The third week there, had some fake news. They tried to get an interview with me. I told them to get lost. Channel 7, Channel 4. My buddy Jason. Anyway, Channel 4. Yeah, don't like him. Anyway, he's fake news. Anyway, anyway. So week after week after week, they just kept, you know, they kept coming back. They kept coming back. Finally, a couple of months into it, we we came up with the plan. Okay, we came up with the plan to get rid of these fools out of Shelby. So we started having our back to blue rallies and Trump rallies in Shelby Township at the same spot where they were protesting the police chief in support of the police. Blue lives matter, as you can see. That blue, the, you know, once we lose that blue line, you know, you gotta protect your own. So anyway, so we thought we got rid of the, you know, Shelby Township and the surrounding communities was getting tired of their nonsense, blocking the street and whatever. We thought we got rid of them. But no, things escalated. So it seemed like it calmed down for a couple of weeks, a few weeks. Then last Saturday came. I don't know why. So last Saturday, there was another group. I'm sure you heard of Detroit Roll Breathe. A big nuisance in Detroit. Police chief is tired of them. They run around Detroit. They've been marching for like 140, 50 days or whatever. I don't know the exact number. For just idiotic reasons. Just, just. I mean, there's some reasons they, they, they seem kind of justified. You know, like the, the one family in Warren that had their house vandalized. Okay, I can understand that. You're against police brutality. All right, I understand that. But some of these reasons are because the police chief said some stuff on Twitter. Oh my God, we're so hurt about stuff on Twitter. Twitter! Twitter! 
So what happened on Saturday? They decided to come to Shelby Township. They were told, if you come to the street, you're going to get arrested. They thought that, well, we did it in Warren. We did it in De we do it in Detroit every day. Yeah, let's go to Shelby Township. Bad fucking move. They went to Shelby Township Saturday. And they fucked around. And they found out. The hard way. Ten arrested. There were seven arrested. They had another protest the same night at the city station. Three more arrested. Six of them fa facing felony charges. Assault on a police officer. I'm not going to say any names. Ten arrested. Six of them facing felony charges. Now, I believe in due process. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. But guess what I also believe in? Right to a speedy trial. A fair and speedy trial. Right to a speedy trial so you can go to jail sooner. All right. You got to respect their constitutional rights. And I do. They want to come there. They want a freedom of speech. That's fine. Stay out of the street. Stop disrupting civilian life. Don't go to the neighborhoods. Okay? No acts of violence. Now, they're not all bad. I met a couple of members. I talked to a few of them in person. They're not all bad. I'm talking about the bad ones. And to the good ones that are in this group, get out while you can. Because this group is not good for you. They're going to bring you down. There's a lot of positive things you can do to the good members. There's a lot of positive things you can do for your community and for your people. Get out of this group. They're going to bring you down. Okay? They're, they're not good. These are not good people. So that's what happened on Saturday. They pretty much... Yeah, they went to the streets. They fucked around. They found out, right? They got arrested. Now, there was a couple of incidents that happened... Which has been in speculation. There was a so there was a conspiracy going around that the police stripped a girl right in front of everybody. So I've checked Facebook, I checked social media. I'm trying to get the facts, you know, what actually happened. And if that was the facts, you know, if that was the truth, shame on the police for doing that. They should have at least went to county jail. Did it did it at county jail and did it. You know? You know what they do when they take you to jail? Okay? I've been arrested before. It's not fun. They take you to jail. They fingerprint you. They take your mug shot. Then they strip you naked to make sure you're not bringing anything in. And then you gotta bend over and open your butthole where they shine a flashlight up your ass crack to make sure you're not smuggling any drugs. That's what they do. If you're a female, they make you open your fucking vagina. And they look inside. To make sure you're not smuggling anything in. Jail is not fun. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Including my enemies. Not fun. Please, for the love of God. If you're going to come to Shelby Township and protest. Please, stay out of the street. The Shelby PD is not fucking around no more. Okay? So, there's video footage of this person, I'm not going to name, which I will post in the description below, because people need to see it for themselves. And it's going to, it's going to kill any rumor that the police stripped this girl naked, or, or stripped her, or whatever, okay? Now, there's, th there's some chatter on Facebook going around saying, don't post it because it's going to be degrading to the girl. Well, my advice, she shouldn't have got arrested. Stay out of the street. I'm not going to say who this person is. I'm not going to put their names out there. But if you want to check out the video, it's in the description. Click on the link in the description below. Her face is blurred out. I'm not going to say this person's name. Check it out for yourself. Video evidence. Uh, she slipped out of her cuffs and and then she tried to blame it on the police. So, so it takes a special kind of idiot to think that Police cars don't have a fucking video camera inside of them recording all the activity inside. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I actually feel sorry for a few of them. I really do. I mean, I'm, I feel sorry for these guys. Some of them, you know. I'm a Christian. You know, 
Jesus is the way. You know, they says in the Bible to love your enemy. And I, I, I really feel bad for some of these people. I really do. These these people are not hardly any of them, any of them are Detroit citizens. Hardly any of, any of them are black. There's a few. They say black lives matter all the time, which I believe all lives matter, including black. I believe everybody matters. I believe in life. and I believe in protecting life. I believe everybody matters. A lot of these people in this group, they're not, they're just a bunch of kids, teenagers, college kids. You know, they need to wake up and see what's really going on, okay? They haven't, you know, I'm 38 years old. These kids are from, they're from, they're not even from Detroit. They're from Macomb. They're from uh, Washington Township, Clinton Township. You got a couple from Shelby. There's one all the way from Ann Arbor. They're, you know, liberal city. Uh, White Lake, uh, 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 Sterling Heights, Pontiac. There's a couple from Flint. There's one that came all the way from fucking Minnesota. Stay out of the street, okay? Or you can fuck around and find out, okay? I'm out.